am. <laughs> My name is John Snodgrass. Tony Sly. This is Joey K. And then there's this guy, John Snodgrass. He used to be in this band called Arthur. We just keep going. <laughs> Sessions never meant anything to me I'm not crazy Well, it's not true I have a bad The dumbest fucker in the world This is on my floor All of the above <laughs> New experiences are great, you know, and it, playing music with as many different people as you can just makes you better, you know, and you play with different people. It's a healthy way to do things, I, yeah. I believe. And these are friends, I mean, that's fun. I think you have to be able to do this at some point if you write songs. If you don't, it's like a rite of passage. You, you, you have to do it. And I also think that uh, on the positive side of that, what's great about it is what we talked about earlier, being able to tour with a lot of different people. <coughs> The fact that a lot of people are doing it is really cool. I mean, I get a new email every other day from somebody like Kevin Seconds, like, hey, let's do shows, you know? And it's like, wow, cool, I'm gonna go do some shows with Kevin Seconds, you know? I mean, can't really do that with Lagway. Everyone Everyone's Everyone's I'm going to ease the transition a little bit because, you know, obviously there's, I guess it would seem that there's a, a larger leap from a band like Lagwagon to doing uh, solo acoustic stuff because it's so dynamically different. But, um, but I don't know. I mean, I always wrote on acoustic and I always made demos on acoustic. So every song that I've ever written, there was an acoustic version somewhere. And I mean, the original incarnation of that song was an acoustic version, so it's really more natural in a way. I've only written one song on electric guitar. It's just like taking that on the road. Yeah, I don't think I've ever. You know, it. it's so easy to do shows too for me. All I got to do is grab my guitar and go play to play a show. You know, so it's like I get offered to do things. So I say I say yes because there's nobody that can say no really. <laughs> exactly though when I first started doing it I was like I said to you I said to John I said I'm gonna say yes to everything because you take that you know democracy out of the equation which is a great thing in a band and it should be that way in every band I don't think it should be any other way but it is a really <coughs> great freedom to feel like there's my backpack there's my guitar somebody asked me to come play a show I'm gonna go like right now yeah <laughs> I mean, think about it. <laughs> think about me, dude. I just, uh, I mean, that's cool that my band wanted to cover me. I hey, totally nice understand that because, well, I mean, mm -hmm. I'm really good. And <laughs> right. <laughs> from, did you get them? We got them from this company. It's called Trashmark. I don't yeah. know if you guys have ever heard of it. It's pretty cool. I've never heard of it. It's based in um in Poland and <laughs> yeah they make some quality t-shirts they do and other things we, we screened oh them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah we did Trashmark let we us did. use their facility and uh, yeah I screened this one here it looks pretty good huh a friend of mine's kid right. did this drawing for me yeah I think I should I think I should have got a better John. artist it was like a. Let us know some details. Yeah, he had a kid drive. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> I've never done this. This is my dog Carlos. This is my dog Pants. This is my cat Gaucho. This is a random alien. A random alien. Yeah, just kind of a bonus alien. Here's some flying angel sunglasses. Yeah. And uh, right here. That's pretty good, actually. That's me on the back of the bus. That's me. The story is when I first started making the record, I was going to do a double record and I was going to do uh, a record's worth of songs that uh, were Lagwagon or Bad Astronaut songs that I had been playing live that I felt like would be nice to record them acoustically and then I was going to do a full record of new songs. I was going to do a double record release 
And I called it Doesn't Play Well With Others because it was sort of like, it's a solo record, right? But then I had about 30 musicians that are friends of mine play on different songs, you know? I had I just basically called in every friend I had and said, hey, can you come down to the studio and do a little something, you know? So I wanted that kind of joke on the record, like Doesn't Play Well With Others, but then having like 40 guest musicians. This is where some of the songs... Hmm, I'm just full, I got all my merch here. Just brought it. I just figured you guys want to know about it, you know. Now this is a split that John and I did called Liber Birds. And uh, this is where five of the Lagwagon songs that I recorded that I play live went. John and I just, we've been touring, we did like a year of acoustic shows. These are songs that we just play together live. Songs from Lagwagon, songs from his old bands. And so we just said, fuck it, let's get together. And Spider-Man Wolfman. Oh, right. And then there's like... I wrote a song on stage a couple months ago. Yeah. That made the cut. I was there. It's an amazing song. <laughs> Uncertainty A foundation built on nothing I can see Secure in your immaculate perception Last thing that I'll ever have to exercise he, Okay, the record doesn't play well with others. So what I decided to do was release one song a month for 12 months. And um, people can do single downloads, you know, each month when the song comes out. Or they can subscribe and they get the whole record. They, can, they get codes every month for the song when it comes out. And then at the end of the period, they get, you know, uh, they get a CD, um, vinyl, and they get a DVD that I'm making this whole year. Um, and it's going great. It's really great. You know, I can just do this year after year after year. There's no reason that I can't just put out one song a month for the rest of my life. I write ten songs a month. Yeah. A lot of them are bad, but there's going to be one good one a month, and I can record it in a couple hours, you know, if it's acoustic, so... I, I, it's a nice way to just, you know, be able to be creative and give music to people. Uh, Tony and I are doing a whole bunch yeah. of touring that seems to be getting more and more uncertain. Cool. Europe, Australia, Canada, Zimbabwe. I mean, Dude. certain parts, of, we were, <laughs> there was that African tour we were going to do. Right. I got, my plate's kind of full right now with the solo thing, and I plan to write a No Use record pretty soon, but um, I'm going to just do this for a while, because I love it. I signed on to do that year-long release thing, so I released one song a month, and it turned out to be a lot more work than I thought it would be. It's actually turned out to be kind of a lot. So I don't know. And Lagwagon, we have no plans. Our drummer's playing with Hot Water music now. And, uh, oh, our guitar, our guitar player's in his band. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> no use. So that's right. My band is sort of imploded. Uh, Drag the River rock and roll shows. Um, maybe coming here in October with the full band. Um, Got to finish a Drag the River record. I'm going to try and take about six weeks off. This year, looking forward to it. God, I'm gonna take a month off. Me too. Thanks a lot. Thank you. I like you guys. We like you guys. Hey, you guys. We're good guys. Great.